the quickest, easiest, and I think the best way to produce a medium format pinhole camera is to buy a medium format film back off eBay and build the pinhole on the front. Three examples here, six, six or two and a quarter square Hasselblad back, six, seven RB back, six centimeter by nine centimeter Mamiya press back. In order to connect your pinhole, you're going to need a mounting plate here. Something that will connect the back and connect the front of the camera together. You could use something as simple as foam board, cut out. I use plywood. Uh, it's more permanent, it's stronger, makes a better job. So there's the three backing plates for the Hasselblad, the Mamiya RB and the Mamiya Press. Before screwing on the backs, I'm going to run a piece of light proofing material around the outside of the aperture here to seal the gap between the film back and the mounting plate. And you can either use felt or purpose bought light proofing foam. This is the Hasselblad finished, ready to have the pinhole section part of the camera fixed to the front. Here's the Mamiya Press 6.9, similar, ready to have the rest of the camera mounted on the front. And I've already done a prototype with the Mamiya RB67 back uh, and actually taken some photographs with this as well and it worked very, very well. I'm quite pleased with it. So film back, mounting plate, pinhole camera. And this part can be made from virtually anything. I particularly like using a medium format film back for the pinhole work and I make an exposure by just covering over the pinhole, taking out the dark slide, then opening up the pinhole for the exposure time, closing it, and then if I want to take a second exposure, perhaps the bracket, I simply wind on take that second exposure before putting the dark slide back. With the camera, of course, mounted on the tripod. But that's my prototype so far. See what happens next.